One of the best things about living in Japan is the cherry blossoms you can find right outside your front door. Blooming at the end of March, cherry blossoms mark the end of the depressingly cold Japanese winter. In this video, I'll take you on a riverside walk, enjoy the decidedly retro atmosphere of eastern Tokyo, drop by two temples, encounter a monkey, and suffer the despair of celebrating yet another Sakura season alone. And this is the part where I leave the station. It is the end of March, so it is Sakura or cherry blossom season here in Tokyo. Originally, I was supposed to be checking out the cherry blossoms today with a friend, but he cancelled on me. So, I'll be walking around by myself today. Let's go. Tomioka Hachiman Shrine was established in 1627 in reverence for the Kami Hachiman. It's also the birthplace of Kanjin Zumo, the origin of professional sumo wrestling. Four times a month, the shrine plays host to an antiques market in keeping with Eastern Tokyo's retro atmosphere. Relics available include assorted knickknacks, rusted tools, a nokogiri, textiles and used kimono, pencils from the 1960s, swords, all manner of toys, and a cursed mini-me? All behave. Surprise monkey. Let's Okay, and on to the next spot. Next door, you can find the Fukagawa Fudodo, an important branch temple in Shingon Buddhism. Perhaps the most striking feature is the modernist ceremonial complex, covered in black and gold Sanskrit lettering. Okay, time to find the river where all the cherry blossoms are. You can tell I'm very excited for the cherry blossom season as I brought out my cherry blossom pants just for this occasion. When I was in the convenience store earlier, the old guy working at the register complimented me on them. As for why it's called Oyokogawa, allow the voiceover to explain. Thanks Dale, you ought to do your research before shooting next time. 
Oyoko means wide, and this is not actually a river, but more of a canal. The thousands of cherry blossoms don't have much historical significance, only being planted in the 1980s when a city official thought some sakura, or cherry trees, would improve the atmosphere of the waterfront. And I have to say, he was right. So I heard some music, followed the sound, turned the corner, and I found a market, as well as a performance. Looks like they're winding up though, so back to the river. Yeah, you can see they're packing up. So in 2020 and 2021, I didn't get to celebrate Hanami or Cherry Blossom Viewing Party at all because at that time the government was advising people not go out. But today there seem to be quite a lot of people here. People are starting to enjoy going out for Hanami again, which really makes me happy. But here I am, spending it alone. It's really great seeing people enjoying the cherry blossom season again, so I'm looking forward to celebrating more and more of these in the future. Wow, I truly had no idea that Tokyo had this many waterways. So with that nice view of Skytree behind me and the rapidly decreasing sunlight, this is where I'll end the video for today and head home. So despite being by myself, I actually had quite a fun day. So as always, thanks for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. So even though my plans for the day fell through, a new opportunity for creativity presented itself and I'm quite pleased with how this video turned out. My favourite shot has to be the accidental capture of the Hiadori or brown-eared bulbul hidden amongst the flowers. Those small moments of beauty really help ground me in the chaos of Tokyo and make me forget about the absolute insanity that is daily life. So, like the experience of watching this video, Japan's cherry blossoms will soon vanish into ephemera once more. But you know what won't vanish into ephemera? That's right, me. Unlike the cherry blossoms, I'll be sticking around all year and the Open World Japan channel is evergreen. So if you'd like to see the rest of my year here in Japan, please consider subscribing to see what's next. I hope to see you again, and here's to an open world.